All right, so last night's homework, check your answers. Make sure you're doing this right. All right, more questions, check your answers. Final two. All right, so day eight notes. These two questions are right above there. So, in your groups, work on these two for a couple minutes. Okay, this one's just uh, distribution. This one, a little tricky. See if you can do it. All right, so let's go over these two. This first one, you just distribute. So we have there, there, there. So you get negative two x to the fourth plus six x cubed 
12x squared. There's your first couple. Minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared, 24x, 5x squared, minus 15x, minus 30. Okay, big long guy. Now we combine like terms. Can't do anything with the fourths, but our thirds, we have a plus 6 and minus 4. So these guys cancel, you get negative 2x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. So just a test taking strategy. Let's look, okay, plus 2x, or minus 2x, minus 2x. Okay, this one we can cancel out immediately because it doesn't have our two terms. We know we did this correct. Now let's combine the squares. We have plus 12 squared, plus 12 squared, 24, plus that squared, we have plus 29 square x squared. So we look, okay, to, okay, that's looking good. Go over here, we can cancel that one. Oh, okay, test taking, we could have stopped right here because none of the other ones have a plus two x cubed. So just by default, we have a. Now this one, this is a little tricky. We know 12 to the zero is just one. Now for i to any power, you wanna start, you wanna simplify it down to either i, i squared, i cubed, or i fourth, i to the fourth, to some powers, okay? So you start, if you divide this by three, you divide 76 by three, you'll get some decimal. So this is out. I is not gonna help you. So if we divide by two, okay, 76 divided by two is really I squared to the 38th power. And if you have a power to a power, you multiply these two. Okay, so if you divide 76 by two, you'll get 38. So I squared to the 38th power. You come down here to four. If you divide 76 by four, you get I to the fourth to the 19th power. Okay, so when you're given some I to the whatever power, just start dividing it by two, three, or four. If it's a whole number that you get, then and stick with that and turn it into i squared to some power, i cubed to some power. So we go here, we know i squared is negative one to the 38th power. Anything to an even power turns out to be positive. Or, come down here, i to the fourth is one to the 19th power and one, that just equals one. So when you simplify, it's really just one plus one, which is two. All right, so day eight notes, talking about rational exponents. Okay, we're gonna have fractions up in here. That's a little weird. Okay, so if you have a fraction as a as your exponent, if we have x to the a over b, okay, just any numbers whatsoever. This a is the power of the inside of or inside the radical. This is going to be the power of the radical. If that kind of makes sense. So for nine to the one half power, it's going to be nine to the one. And it's going to be a square root. A square root is. Technically, there's a two down there, but we don't write that because it's implied. About this is three.
or 225 to the one half power. That's really 225 to the one power square root. Okay, your one goes inside, your two goes right there. One goes inside, two goes there. So if we take a look at three, we have 27 to the first power, cube rooted. One comes here, your three goes there. Okay, we know square root of 225 is 15. Cube root of 27 is 3. Now we have negative 4 to the 1 half power. Okay, this negative is not inside the parentheses, so we don't bring it with us. So this is really negative 4 to the 1. Okay, so it's a negative square root of 4, which is negative 2. And this, print, this negative is not in a parenthesis with the 4, so we don't bring it with us. Number 5, it is in the parenthesis, so we do bring it with us. So this is negative 64 to the 1 power square root. So the square root of negative 64. You know, that's 8i. Okay, take a look. We got this whole thing to the net to the one third power, so this is negative eight by the six. Technically it's to the one. Cube root, one's there, three's there. We can put this up into cube root of negative eight. Okay, times the cube root of y6, if you can't deal with just these numbers. If you wanna split them up, you can do that. So we know that this is going to be negative two. We can, since this is cube root, we bring out three. We bring out three, you have three left. We bring out another three, so you get y squared. Okay, this is 16 to the 1 fourth is 16 to the 1. Okay, to the fourth root. So we're looking for four numbers to take out. This is really two times eight, which is two times two times two. This is good. So the answer to this is just two. You're not always going to have a one-third up here, but I'm just showing you that if it's a two-thirds, you're going to square this term. So let's try these. Rewrite in radical form and simplify. So I want, okay, Kyle, you guys do 11, Macy 12, Zach, you guys do 13, Alex, you guys get 14, um, Hannah, you guys get 15, Kiana, 16. Eric, 17. Brittany, you guys do 18. 
Okay, Steven, you guys do 19, and then Jeremiah, you guys do 20. So like a minute, two minutes. Alright, so let's go over these. 25 to 3 halves, that is 25 cubed square roots. Okay. You can simplify this as 25 times 25 times 25, that is cubed. And you can bring out two of these. So you should have gotten 25 times the square root 25, which is 5 times 25, 125. Okay, hopefully how you guys got that. Let's check out number 12. This is 4 fifths to the square root. Okay, this is really... 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And this guy is 2 times 2. So we have 4 times 4 to 16 times 2. 32. Take a look at this one. This is 8w cubed to the fourth cube rooted. So since we're cube rooting this, we want three of these out here. So if we take away three of them, we get 8w3 cube root 8w3. We can simplify this. The cube root of 8 is 2, so straight up 2. Cube root of this is going to be w. So it's going to be this term multiplied by this. So you should get 16w to the fourth. And if you're having, if this is kind of confusing, case, okay, make sure you write some questions so when I come back we can go over them. We'll have a day of review so we can tackle this when I get back. 20, go to 14, 27 squared cube root. This is really cube root of 27 times a cube root of 27, which is 3 times 3, which gives you 9. Okay. 
take a look over here, we have two cubed square root. Since we're square rooting, we can take two of these out. So you get two times the square root of two. And that's as simple as you can go. Take a look at this one. This is going to be 4x to the 4.5 squared to the cube root. And we don't like we don't like decimal exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this, bring it through. So we get the cube root of 16x to the 9th. Because remember when you do an exponent to a power, you multiply the two. So since this is a cubed root, we want three of these. We can take out three. So we'll have six left. We can take out another three. We have three left. We can take out that final three. So you should get x cubed cube root of 16. And 16 we can reduce to 2 times 8, it's really 2 times 2 times 2. Cube root, we want to bring 3 of these out. You're left with him, so we get 2x cubed cube root of 2. And hopefully you guys are getting the same answers I'm getting. If not, make sure you know where you're making mistakes. If you don't know where you're making a mistake, make sure you come you bring it up when I come back. Seventeen, three to the fourth, square rooted. Since this is a square, we want to bring out two of these. So this is really 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Bring out one of the 3's. Bring out the other 3. So you get 3 times 3, which is 9. Number 18, we have negative 4 cubed to the square root. So square root of negative 4 cubed. So this, since we're square rooting, we can bring two of these out. So you get negative 4 square root of negative 4. We know this is really square root of negative 1, square root of 4, so this is 2, and this is i. So we bring out a 2, i, and we have our negative 4. So 2 times negative 4, negative 8, and then we have our i.
number 19, we are rewriting this in exponential form. So we want fractions in our exponents. So our base, we got 6. Okay. Then what? Okay, this is really 6 to the 1 half to the 5th power. So we can simplify this a little more. Since we have a power to a power, you multiply these two. So it's really 6 to the 5 halves. If okay, both of these are correct, then say to simplify, so you can leave it like this. We rewrite this one. Remember, we have our base. This number is in our numerator, so 8. And then there's our denominator, 7 to the 8 thirds power. Okay, for this one, this is really a 1 in here, and that's really a 2. So you have your base. The 1 is your numerator, 2 is your denominator, so this is 8 to the 1 half power. Finally, number 22, this is really a 1 in here, so you have your base, that's our numerator, 1, this is 9 to the 1 third power. So as long as you know that this is your in there and then here is right there, and vice versa, you should be fine. Okay, homework, just rewriting the stuff and simplifying. Just what we did in class today. So you don't have to do all of them. You don't have to practice. Okay, so if you have any questions from this week, please write them down, star something, ask me when I come back.